Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Prison Architect Strategy and Tactics Episode 2. So in our first episode, we got our well, foundation set. We also knocked out a trio of grants. The administrative grant, the, uh, the, the intro to... Uh, building a basic detention center, uh, and also uh, uh, knocked off the staff uh, the staff uh, one as well. So uh, I think to start things off here before we get to additional building, and there will be plenty of additional building to do before we can open this place up, is to take a look at our grants and see what else is on the menu. Aha! Okay, so uh, cell block A. Probably one of the more important ones in the early game. 20,000 advanced and 20,000 for completing this piece. Please and yes, thank you. Next up, we have prison maintenance. We are already kind of on the way to uh, going through prison maintenance. And getting prison maintenance up early is is extremely important. And not just for this grant. Uh, I mean, it's 15k, but you know what? It's darn it. It's 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 good. It's good to have. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab prison maintenance right here, right now. Um, as far as um, additional things, well, the uh, the security procedure certification is certainly one to consider. However, it does require additional uh, research topics and will tie up our grant slot uh, in the meantime. Uh, the reform through initi uh, education initiative is, is great. I mean, look at this bonus, but it takes a long time to complete. So we are not going to be taking that yet. Oh, don't worry, we'll be doing it. The only other one I would consider is the inmate health and well-being, but uh, the visitation rights uh, help you out a little bit sooner and is uh, a little bit cheaper to get set up. Um, well, maybe not cheaper, but it, it's there. We'll be knocking off this one anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and grab visitation rights. So we've got ourselves a healthy bit of cash in the bank. All right. Also, now that we've completed our basic detention center, we can get rid of these fake rooms um, or rather reclassify them to the proper thing. So this shall be a proper office. We can also dismantle this shower head. We'll use it for something else. Don't it's uh, we can also dismantle this toilet. And this bench. Whoops. No, no, not dump. Dismantle, please. No. No need to waste it. Uh, and then we can turn this into, no, not a common room, not visitation reception. Now, we already have this room down here kitted out as an office, but we do need to kit out a few things for reception. Uh, so what I'm going to do, um, yeah, it needs a table is one of its, uh, one of its uh, required items. Uh, I like this up here in the middle. It helps our guards get... Uh, it's basically where they store all the uh, the new garbs for the new prisoners. Um, and you know what? Let's entertain our new people for a little bit. I don't really... Um, well, hmm, do I want the TVs there? No, I don't want the TVs there. Uh, we'll just leave it as is. We do need a office desk and a, uh, a chair. So we'll put the uh, desk up here. The chair up here. We've already got the lights uh, fixtures in place. Oh yeah, and I also forgot our door. And yes, we're going to be making the door to the kitchen a regular door because we are going to, at least uh, in the long term, going to be relying a lot on prison labor for it. Uh, so we want them to have fairly easy access to the kitchen. That's why we have this metal detector for any uh, any uh, kleptos that would decide to walk off with knives. Right then, the other thing that we need to get uh, up and running here for our cell block A is these. Now, uh, for those of you who are astute and good at math and who have passed the foundation education program yourself, you will say, Pinstar, that's only 10 cells. It needs 15 for you to get your reward. That ain't going to be enough. Are you going to build another block? And my answer to you is no, not yet. You see... In the early game, this is one of the reasons why I'm going with pure, low-security prisoners, is these aren't just going to be normal cells. These are going to be dorms. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll show you sort of the layout that we're going to be going for here. Uh, first and foremost, let's kit out our uh, dorm rooms here. Of course, we do need jail doors. Uh, we'll put them on the upper side here. So one here, here, here. 
doing the same technique that we did with the staff rooms. We're replacing the doors first, um, and then uh, and then drawing the walls so we don't draw more walls than we need. Uh, the other thing is going to be a metal detector going into this cell block like so. That's why we put these doors up one so that the metal detector can be down here. Um, now uh, we'll throw a light in here. Might as well let there be light. And of course we have to draw our walls concrete here for the middle cell blocks. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, here, here. That will get them uh, cooking on this quite nicely. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kit out two of our rooms, the top one and the bottom one. And then I can, once they've placed all the objects, copy paste them to the others so that we can get those. Now, what, um, let's talk about dormitories here. Um, the dormitories require a bed or a bunk bed, minimum size of two by three, which is exactly what we're giving them. Um, now, normally, normally the rule of thumb with a dormitory is that you need four squares of open space in a room per person uh, for for a dorm to count. So, you know, you, we couldn't just stick like two bunk beds in here and hope to fit cram four people in this little space. Ah, uh -uh. systems, the, the, the game's not going to let that. However, there seems to be an exception when it comes to a single bunk bed. The single bunk bed will make the cell count as two as being able to hold two people, uh, even though it does not possess eight open squares of space. So we are going to be utilizing that to our advantage. So dormitory here, dormitory here. As for our selection in objects down here, of course, the bunk bed is the star of the show. So we will be placing them thusly. I like to put them right against the back of the walls here. Um, now, the reason I was kind of poo-pooing a, um, uh, a shower room before um, in, my, uh, in my first episode is that uh, the way I like to set up my cells and, and my regimes ultimately is to have uh, showers in every cell. Now, that requires a little bit more infrastructure, a little bit more setup, a little bit more cost, but you, the advantages gained by not having to herd everybody to one specific room just for the privilege of them taking a shower is really, really useful. So we're going to go ahead and get that going right now. Um, what we're going to do here is um, we will place the shower. Well, that's the shower grate. Obviously, you want the drain. Otherwise, the, uh, the thing will flood. And then we'll get shower head, shower head. Of course, we do also need our toilets. Those are required even if we aren't being generous with the plumbing. Uh, but that is fine as well. Now, one other, uh, one other, oh yeah, light, we'll give them a light for, for each of them as well. One other bit of accoutrement that I like to include in my cells, at least in these style cells, is a prayer mat. Um, fulfilling the spiritual need, which uh, the prayer mat as well as the pews helps do, uh, takes a quite a long time for a prisoner to do. And uh, they also spend quite a long time in their cells. And being that these prayer mats are dirt cheap at 50 bucks a piece, um, even if these cells are not ultimately populated by uh, spiritual prisoners that require them, I think it's worth their inclusion in each of the rooms. Just in the off chance that we do have a spiritual uh, prisoner, they will now have a place that they, you know, during lockup and sleep time and other times when they're just chilling in their cell, they have a place of their very own to camp out and fulfill that spiritual need on the cheap. So that's that's kind of the 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 work through that we're going through here. Now, all these uh, flashing electrical and water symbols are starting to annoy me, as I am sure they are starting to annoy you. So let us unpause here and get to uh, designing a little bit more utilities, shall we? I think we shall. All right, let's see again. Handy dandy planning tool. Measure twice, cut once, or in this case, build once. Now, for our water we are going to make a little room here that is exactly three tiles wide, like so. As you can see, we're continuing down the wall like here. Um, 
Obviously, the uh, the water station itself is three by three. So you might say, well, that's a lot of extra wasted space. Are you just going to build more water stations? No, there's going to be another uh, uh, another item that we're going to be utilizing there. Now, as far as our next item, I think in, uh, to sort of space out our utilities, I, 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 you definitely don't want to put a, the water and the electric in the same room. And I like to put a little something in between them just to make sure. Uh, so we're going to, oh yeah, hang on, I have to do a quick measurement here. 11, there. This is our southern wall. This is where we have to turn a corner here. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Um, so we can uh, we can get this going right here. This is exactly what we're going to be. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. The the one of the other um, uh, things that we took was visitation. So this is actually going to be our little visitation center right here. Um, We'll obviously ext extend out the, uh, the the grate down here, the uh, the fence, that is, so that our prisoners can get to it. But then last but not least, we need to round out the corner of the building, and that's going to involve a, uh, a bit of a compound room. And now, first off, since this is in the corner and you can't just go leave in there, they need to have some way to get into the main area here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this little area a little, uh, you know, one by something hallway so that we can do a side exiting door. Uh, one, two, three, four. Thing, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Beautiful spacing. Um, now, a couple of things that we're going to be doing here. Let me just make sure my measurements are correct. One, two, three, four. Down like that. All right, this is a little, this is like a smidgemeter off, but we can, we can course correct for that. Does not have to be exactly that. We put this down one. We actually eliminate the need for that little rinky-dink hallway in the first place. You'll see exactly the, my, the methods to my madness and what I'm trying to accomplish here in just a moment. Two, three, four, bink. Two, three, four, five. Oh, beautiful. All right, good. We're, we're, we're in business. We are in busyness. And then we can do our little door right up there. Excellent. Okay, so let us... Um, well, hang on. Let's let's let our our guys go here first, because uh, they got some other stuff to build here before we start making them busy with all this. Oh yeah, we can get rid of the planning materials here. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just to tidy things up a touch. Get rid of that. Oh, yeah, they're still assembling the staff room here too. Oh yeah, radiator. That might not be a bad thing to put in here in case things get a little uh, hot. But time enough for that in a moment. Let's speed things up a bit so we can get people uh, running here. We're almost done with cleaning, so we can get uh, get working on the next component of that. And uh, we're well on our way to, to finishing prison maintenance. And more importantly, actually utilizing the workers that prison maintenance unlocks. I'm more interested in actually the workers that prison maintenance enables than I am actually the grant money. Now, granted, I'm not going to scoff at the grant money, so don't get me wrong there, folks. And while you guys uh, get your model cells going in here, so see, see, look up here, look. This cell, having been completed and, and now valid, gives us two prisoner capacity in a in a uh, two by three area this is the most dense that you can pack your prisoners however there are some drawbacks to that and i wouldn't recommend using it for some of your higher security people that can be problematic um, also speaking of researching here um, since you're about to finish this let's queue that up since you're about to finish that bank loan let's uh, uh, queue up tax relief and since you're about to finish psychology let's get health All right, let us demolish the, that fence there because we're going to want that out of the way for when we build this little this little nook down here. All 
Yep, all those researches are finishing. Also, now now that we've ref uh, we've finished uh, researching that, we can get two janitors. Getting them right now is of utmost importance because the act of building all of your stuff here creates a lot of dirt and grime and whatnot. And we want our prison nice and spick and span for when all of the uh, inmates start to arrive. Um, so that is of paramount importance. All right, our two model rooms are done. So we can what we can do is go to quick build, go to clone, um, right click, drag it over to the area that you want to copy, like so, and then copy pasta, copy pasta, copy pasta. Now, because this one is orientated in a different way, that's why I built a, a, uh, a, a northern style room and a southern style room because the bed's at opposite ends. So we copy the southern style one and do likewise. Um, and once those are all built, um, that will fulfill our cell block A, even if we don't get prisoners in there right away. Now you might be saying, well, Pinstar, why, 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 do you, why go with 20? Why, why not just do fewer? You know, you don't need that many prisoners. Well, there's a specific reason why I'm shooting for 20. Uh, besides just uh, fulfilling cell block A. So while they get working on that, let us also throw down some foundations. Um, yeah, we'll go like that. And oh, what the hay, we'll, uh, we'll get this little side area too. I don't know, I, I, I mean, I, I kind of know what we're going to do with this next one, but I don't have a, an immediate need for it right away. But we might as well get this down here. Oh, yeah, requires entrance, of course. Um, our entrance is going to be the staff door in this little nook right here. That will satisfy that area. And actually, we're going to have a couple of entrances here. We want a... Uh, um, well, for the moment... We'll, we'll save this door for... Well, We'll make it a regular door for the moment. Actually, we'll make it a staff door for the moment. And then down here, just for the moment, we'll uh, we'll make you a regular door. Though that will likely change in the very near future. All right, let's uh, let's hyper fast forward here. Yes, we're well into day two. My goal is to have prisoners streaming in by day three. That's usually what I shoot for. Oh, and uh, while we're at it, since we're uh, looping around like this, we can just uh, extend our yard here. Because we do want to make sure our yard is uh, fully enclosed and we don't have any uh, escapees. That would be rather embarrassing. Let me guess. You, yeah, you're pissed off. I'm going to guess that he is cold. Um, why he doesn't go to the staff room to warm up? Because there's no warmth there. Because we don't have our utilities online yet. <laughs> okay. So, let's get some utilities, shall we? We shall. Um, utilities. First, our water pump station is going to go right here. This is going to be our water pump room. The other thing that we're going to do with this particular room... And this is the reason why I wanted to get cleaning researched is the cleaning cupboard. Um, this whole thing is going to be a cleaning cupboard and also the water storage because storing a whole bunch of toxic chemicals right next to the entire prison's water supply, that's there, nothing can go wrong there, right? Of course, it's efficient. Of course, it's the best idea I ever had. All right, let us close this little uh, doodad off. And now we have this little room. This is going to be our visitation room. And actually, it's going to be kind of a mixture of, of uh, two different rooms. Um, we're going to do, uh, let's, let me check for here. Yes, parole is going to be the first half of it. And this needs to be a five by five. And then visitation, where are you? Visitation. Yeah, that doesn't have a minimum size, so... We can uh, make that with the rest of the room. The room will serve similar functions uh, to each other. Uh, so then we can get this line 
sealed off here. Now for power, we have not forgotten power. We need a power station that's going to go all the way over here. Um, we will put you here and we're going to go for four capacitors. Get those in place before we start drawing any other walls or what have you. I know I'm kind of overloading my guys here because they also want to set all these up. We got a lot of stuff to do in the early game. Um, part of me wants to hire a couple more dudes, but then I know once they finish all this blitz here, they're going to go idle. Uh, and then I'm going to be wondering, well, why did I hire all these, be all these guys? So I like to just keep it at the normal level of workers. It's not like we're working against a specific time limit. All right, I'm hearing all these jingles here. What else? Aha! So groundskeeping has been approved. Let us get prison labor, another super critical uh, component here. We also want to start working on prison policy. Uh, and you're working on, pri on uh, uh, tax relief. So that is good there. Here's our lovely toxic chemicals, of course. Oh, that also reminds me... Um, all right, so we've got this up and running. Um, of course, it's not doing anything, but we can still start planning it out. Uh, that being said, let's let's wait for them to start uh, start throwing in some uh, um, actual uh, equipment in here. Yeah, these guys can't even clean the can't can't even clean the trays right now. But hey, we're not too far off from uh, uh, from completing cell block A here. Because, again, it doesn't require that you have power and water to everything. That being said, I do want to get utilities up to the staff room so our staff can actually relax sufficiently. Because it is kind of slowing them down and pissing them off. So we that will be our first, our, our next priority, is get our, our utilities online and run utility lines up to the staff room. And then to the rest of the uh, prison, of course. And there is a very specific rhyme and reason that you want to follow when it comes to getting your uh, your utilities uh, brought out there, um, because more so on the water side than on the uh, on the um, electrical side. But the electrical side does warrant um, um, you know careful placement as well. All right, so here comes our generator at all. Once these get installed proper, kaboom, there we go. Okay, let's get some utility wires going. So for our electrical lines, what I like to do is um, I like to run them along the walls where it, it, it reaches either side. Because that way, if we have lights in here or lights out here, um, this one line will cover both of them. Now, the other thing is for things that require direct connection, obviously you need to put a direct connection. So we'll run that up there. But ultimately, I want to run this line all the way up like this. Now, note all these other direct connectors will be connecting to each other um, quite nicely. So this hugging these refrigerators back here will plug them in. That will plug that in. The other thing that we want to do is get it along the line here, obviously, to plug into here. Uh, this should actually put the wires further, for, far enough in, but actually we are going to need some, some stuff in the canteen itself, so we'll run it out, out here to the center. That will take care of our power. Now, for our water, our water is, you have to be careful with water. More specifically, you have to be careful with the pipes. The pipes are a, uh, a tunneler's best friend. When a prisoner is trying to escape by tunneling underground, when they encounter a pipe, it actually gives them a bonus to their digging speed. Essentially, I guess they crack themselves into the pipe and go along it or go inside of it, uh, a la Shawshank Redemption. Um, I think that's kind of the idea that they're going for. Uh, so what you don't want to do is you don't want to have a lot of big pipes uh, that'll, that give uh, uh, prisoners an advantage to attempting to escape from your prison. That being said, you can't do without big pipes because you need to get water to distant places and little pipes will only carry water so far. So here is my stratagem, if you will. We're going to take our, our water pumping station down here. 
um, and bring it down like this. And then um, we're going to have it hug the, um, the cell block here like so. In fact, we don't even need to, to have it go up uh, further than that. Uh, like that. Like that. That's better. Uh, this will allow us then to run our, uh, our other pipes along the, uh, the floors here and we'll have enough pressure to reach in here without giving people direct access to the big pipe. And if they get to the big pipe, it doesn't lead directly out of my prison. They have to go, they, if they want to take advantage of it, they have to go all the way out of their way here and then try to get here. Um, and we'll be having ways to mitigate the risk that that poses as well. Now, the other thing we need is a water boiler to make hot water. Um, now, one thing that you want to make sure you do is make sure your water boiler is attached uh, directly to a large pipe. It'll still function if it's attached to a small pipe, but it won't send its hot water nearly as far. So we want this placed right on the big pipe. All right, so that's got our utilities sorted for the moment. And our grant completion is complete there. That's cell block A. Uh, oh yeah, all we need to do is now hire a gardener. And that grant's complete. <laughs> knocking them down, knocking them down. All right, so let's go back to the drawing board here and uh, take a look at some of our other options. Uh, inmate health and well-being, absolutely. It's a pretty easy one to knock out. You just need to get your infirmary up and running. Um, and the other one we can get here is, uh, well, you know what? We could start cooking um, short-term investment. I think we have enough money to play with that that would be a worthwhile, well, investment. So we got that cooking. All right, let's speed things back up a bit more. Now, as far as our um, piping goes, we do need to consider uh, all of our destinations. So this little pipe will come off of here. Uh, we also need, oh, we do need the large pipes up here. Um, just so that we can get nice even distribution for here. Uh, we also need to consider hot water pipes. Um, so along here, this will go to that sink. Um, now the showers, re well, they don't require it, but unless you want to suppress your prisoners by making them take cold showers, uh, it's good to have your showers with hot water. So we're going to run this along here to give them uh, nice hot water. Actually, you know what? No, we'll take that out. Let's run this up the middle here, and then we'll just have it branch off from here, like so. Again, this is just the hot water. You still need to provide your uh, showers with cold water. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're considered functional uh, if you just give them hot water and just start scalding your uh, prisoners. I don't think they'll let them take a shower in that case. But we'll move this up here and cover both the shower and the toilets. This way we keep it nice and efficient and there will be plenty of water pressure for everyone. And that way everybody gets their own toilets, everyone gets their own shower, everyone is, relatively speaking, happy. Um, yeah, and we... Did we... Um, no, I need to get the hot water piping up here. So the hot water piping does not go in the large pipes themselves. So I need to move this up here, get you into that radiator, and that also link up with here. And that will take care of that for us. Oh, the other thing we can do now that this little doodad has been built here is extend out our, nope, our yard. Nope, not that. Not that yard. There you are. Yeah. 
And this is way too wide here. All right, let there let there be light. <laughs> we can finally have refrigeration in our well refrigerators. And our staff can actually watch TV. Now if we can just hook up the plumbing here, they can actually take a dump. I think that's what they're all waiting anxiously to do. And yeah, look, see, with even with four capacitors, we're already, uh, we're still uh, touching the top there. That's because of all of this accoutrement in the kitchen here, drawing lots and lots of power. Uh, let's see, it is nearly midnight. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, fill to capacity. And there are 10 available. So we will be getting 10, 10 of our 20 in uh, starting in the morning. I think we will have our prison built to a, a point to where we can start accepting prisoners. Now, see, if we hadn't uh, switched the priorities around, we would have only been getting like two or three prisoners here. So the fact that we're getting on our first uh, loadout here, 10, that makes me happy. Yeah, look at all these food trays just scattered around. Yeah, a lot of pipe work needed to be done here. Um... The other thing is, since we've got these objects here, let's start working on our grant for the visitation right. So we've got the visitation room. Well, not really. It needs a table or visitor booth. We need three of those built, but they don't necessarily need to be built in that room. That's kind of a little loophole that you can you can do here. Um, so we'll get, oops. Hmm, it's weird. The singleton seat's always on the bottom. So those two are going to be visitation tables, and these uh, this one is going to be a parole table. They, they all work the same way, and they all count towards the goal here. Um, add a pool table. Yes, yes, we can. Guess what this little space up here in the canteen's going to be for? Help people relax. And who wouldn't relax with a nice pool table like so? Perfect, uh, perfect spacing for it, too. Um, now add at least two TVs. Um, we can actually throw those in here, um, because people can sit on these benches here and use that to watch TV. Um, so at least for the time being, we can throw down our TVs. Um, we'll put them, yeah, right here in the middle here, like so. That gives them plenty of coverage. Um, now we also need a common room. Um, one of what we one of the things we can do here is just designate one of these. This is ultimately going to be another set of offices because uh, you need a total of six offices, but we can call one of them a common room, quote unquote, to satisfy that that requirement. Alternatively, we could make a common room right here, but no, I want that for laundry. Screw your common room. We'll uh, we'll worry about uh, that later. Uh, let's see, common room, common room, right. Yeah, that's indoors, and that's actually all it requires, so we're just going to do that to placate. Um, kind of a running theme here, isn't it? <laughs> all right, two TV and five phone booths is the other thing. Those are going to be going out in the yard. Uh, and we're going to be spacing these beasts out. Uh, more on that later. But yeah, five of them is fine by me. Three, four, five. Perfect. So that will take care of that. And then, yeah, once they build enough to have this visitation room count as a visitation room, then we will knock out that grant. Perfect. Hey, hey, he's finally taking a dump. Oh yeah, we um, we need to hire our psychologist. There we go. We almost forgot about that. Speaking of research, um, yeah, we're done with prison policy. Let's get let's uh, get started on security here. Uh, we've gotten our um, gotten our maintenance, our prison labor done rather. 
Um, did I forget to run wires out to this? Yeah, it, it just doesn't have a, a direct connection to it, which is fine. We'll just run two more electrical cables along here and that will get our hot water uh, heater while heating hot water. And yeah, these guys can finally clean the trays. And our janitors, more importantly, are going around and making sure everything is spick and span. All right, now the next bit of, uh, of, of stuff that we need to do here is to get a laundry room. But I also want to get, a, uh, get these offices planned out as well. So let us get these built up as well, because again, we need two more offices, ultimately speaking. Um, and that's what these are going to be. Uh, well, that one will stop being a common room once. Uh, oh, we, we actually got that one. We also need a ward, but that one I'll sit on for a little bit. Uh, right then, office, in you go, like that. And we'll get a staff door to the sort of the power room over here, a utility closet, if you will, um, so that, you know, we can add additional capacitors later on if we so desire. So, all right, desk and the filing cabinet and a chair. Perfect. All right, you guys are doing well. The foreman doesn't need to research anything or this. The psychologist now allows me to mouse over people and tell me why. what's wrong. Yeah, see? Warmth, I told you. These guys are cold. That's why they're pissed off. Uh, but we just got our radiator up and running. So hopefully they realize this and uh, and decide to warm themselves up there. Yeah, see how the warmth is starting to go down a little bit because of that radiator? If we look at uh, logistics temperature, yep, 20 degrees or a nice balmy 68 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in there. Um... It's also a little warm in here and also a lot of bit of warm down here. Uh, it might be worth our while to get um, get a uh, um, a radiator here in this uh, prisoner cell block to keep them nice and toasty warm. Um, there you are, radiator. Perfect. Yeah, let's put it right, right here. And since there's already a hot water pipe running down through the floor, it'll hook itself up. Oh, you guys are trapped. Derp. Uh, why don't we put ourselves a, uh, yeah, a nice little staff room in here. We'll have, we'll have offices that can be walked through. Uh, and then through here, we will get our laundry room. Uh, let's see, what's the minimum? Doesn't give me a minimum, uh, but I like to give it at least, at least four. Uh, eh, let's make it five. Five's always a good thing to, to make stuff work with. Uh, as far as laundry, I like to make it, uh, I like to have prison labor doing laundry. Uh, so we will put a normal door to make that easier for them. And I like to get three ironing boards. This is mo way more than we need for it at the moment, but it will still let us do what we got to do three machines, and three laundry baskets, like so. And then we can um, just make a wall down this way, and we can use this space to expand into other rooms as we go along. Light, 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 let there be light, and let there be laundry. Yes, I know. We still need to build the medical ward. That might actually might might be my next thing over here. Once they once they finish building this little area out. Yeah, thankfully it places it uh, to the side here, so uh, yeah, people can walk by it uh, easily. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems that uh, as far as contraband is concerned, the contraband doesn't really start showing up um, uh, when when there are no prisoners. Like it, 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 like sometimes it'll it'll false flag them, but you never find anything. Um, once prisoners arrive, all bets are off and contraband starts to flow like water. Um, all right. Once security is done, I want you working on education. Um, once tax relief done, I want you working on land expansion and you're all done with your stuff. So can't plan out more of that. Hopefully you guys don't pop over here and pull a dwarf fortress where you lock yourself in. Apparently not. Good. Oh yeah, we need to get some utilities over here. So if I remember correctly, these guys require um, um, a, uh, a direct connection. So this one will pop out a little node here. And if I also remember correctly, they require water. But ironically, not hot water. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Oh yes, uh, as far as the yard goes here, there is some uh, sprucing up that I like to do. Um, paving stones. I like some. I like me some paving stones right along the line here to help walking speed. I also like a nice long line of paving stones along the middle here. And along the middle here. So that way people can get up and down here a little bit faster. All right, we are just a couple of hours away from our uh, first shipment of prisoners. Um, so let us uh, put, on, put on the finishing touches here. Get the last of the stuff set up in just in time. Guys are finishing that. We're getting this pathway set up here. We've got our uh, we got our five uh, guards, which is enough to handle this first initial load. We'll get more later on. All right, you guys are all set. This actually might be a a. Is there a minimum for an infirmary? No, there isn't. Uh, this actually works perfectly for an infirmary, because the beds are are too uh, too large, not too large, but. Two, two spaces large, I mean to say. Get a uh, room here. And then medical bed, medical bed, medical bed, and medical bed. Light, light. And that will, once we hire a couple of doctors as well, take care of those grants. All right, 3,000 for prisoner intake. You don't get a lot of money. Wait, only eight? Oh, are we getting it in? Uh, I think we might be getting it in two, but yeah, we're getting it in two buses. And at this point, all of the doors start going into more secured mode. Now, because these guys are shackled, they are not going to make a bolt for it. Also, because they're low security, they're not going to make a bolt for it. Uh, that being said, um, you know, we, we are going to be securing our outdoor area in a future episode. Don't you worry. But for the time being, we will just be pulling in these guys. Um, as far as their names, well, you might see them change. Um, uh, starting in the next episode. You see, uh, I have myself a Patreon, and for uh, supporters who are at the name in the game level, you will be seeing your names appear here starting in the next episode. Uh, do you want your name in the game if you have not done so already? It's not too late. Um, anyone who signs up for name of the game in, uh, with my Patreon will get added immediately. Uh, so if that is something you're interested in, or if you just want to support my channel,
channel in general, check out my Patreon page in the description below. All right, folks. So um, I think this is a good pausing point. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing up. See ya.